So I'm hey it's turn off here in another video again, but today I can I don't know if I can make a video because today I'm sh stuck in this large pit that I cannot get out of for some reason, and there's this big chunk of a chunk of lapis. There's this big chunk of lapis here, and I seem to not get out. I have 63 cooked chicken, two iron pickaxes, and some new accessories for some reason. You know the main four accessories right here? And now I have three new ones in this world. And, um, so today, um, yeah, I'm just kind of stuck in this pit today. I can't get out because it's too high. Eh. <gasps> Ugh. The walls are too high for me to get up to. So I thought maybe I would mind this. See what I get. Well, I got experience. Whoa! And I also uncovered a secret a secret hideout. I'm gonna go inside. This might be a, my escape. Experience. Whoop. Whoop. My experience levels are going high. And, um, let's see. Aw, oh, Dane, how am I ever going to get across this? Looks like my escape out is ruined. Uh, ooh, wait, there's a chest. Inflammable cloak. This is one of my accessories. What if I put this on? My inflammable cloak is now on. Whoa! The inflammable cloak saves me from this burning fire. And I'm going to keep it on until it stops burning. Which that might be a, a, lo a long while. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see. Invisibility cloak. Don't need it right now. Not helpful. Finally, I stopped burning. I can take this off now. And, um, yeah, let's see. Whoa, zombie! Looks like I do need that invisibility cloak. This is another one of my accessories, I bet. Invisibility cloak on. Uh. Hey, it worked! The zombie can't see me at all. And really, you can't get me. Because you can't see me, all I am is a, pretty much I'm a floating pickaxe. Look, I'm just a floating pickaxe. Odd. But, yep, <laughs> you can't get me. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna see ya. And, uh, oh, dang, how am I ever gonna get across that? A mithril amulet. No, I think this is known for Lord of the Rings. Turn on. Whoa, that's a lot of hearts. I bet I can get across now. Ow, 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 ow. That's a lot of arrows. Whoop, whoop. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you found this, you want Minecraft! Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep one of these. I said I'm gonna keep two of these. Infinite sword, projection, projection four, flame one, infinity one, smite five. Oh, a knockback, a knockback eye. This is awesome, knockback eye. I'm gonna kill that zombie. Yeah, I'm gonna go kill that zombie with this awesome sword. Oh, dang, I can't get back up. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a lot. <laughs> Look at me. Look at all those arrows in me. Hilarious. And, um, so yeah. Now I'm going to show you how I made these, um, these, um, accessory shacks. Accessories. Hello, it's turn off here again. And still I have all these arrows stuck in me, even though I'm in creative mode. And it took a lot of command blocks to make this, but it fits through. And about these accessories, they're only in game mode. They're in every game mode except creative, so that's kind of a problem. Like if I go into survival, um, you see. 
if I go in the adventure mode, you see? If I go in the spectator mode, you still, you know, you see. And, um, about, about the accessory, um, <coughs> how I made this, this was actually a world download that I got from, from a website called Planet Minecraft. I actually downloaded this world and redid it. So those accessory pictures for the slots were already there. But um, I'm going to show you how I made them. This lava, that's not part of it. I, that was just a test little fire thing. But um, So I'm going to show you how I made them. So the unflammable cloak, it was actually a fire, ch a, a fire charge with a damage with a damage score of zero, and it was named, it was just a fire charge named Unflammable Cloak, and the Missile Amulet was just a Nessa Shine named Missile Amulet, and Invisibility Cloak was a um, Firework Charge Invisibility Cloak, in, Invisibility Cloak, and um, actually in your inventory, when you go to it, um, it actually says Fire Star, Firework start, but it's actually firework charge, and um, give you know, like command writing button. So here's how I made it work. I actually have. I'm gonna go in the game of spectator here. You see, I actually have a clock running with a torch, with a torch right here. Um, that uh, I'm gonna show you how you make that. You. I use quartz dirt. You can use whatever you want. You need that whatever a whetstone dust, a whetstone torch, and a whetstone repeater. And here's how you make it. So um, if it's on glass or air, you want to make it like this. So like like that, and then um. You put a whetstone there, uh, compared to here, facing this way, or any way it, it matters what the uh, whetstone clock is facing. It makes sort of face, the, the whetstone repeater is always facing the block above the rest of the dust. And it makes sure to put the repeater on the two, and then, and then on the block below that the repeater is on, Put a, like a western torch here, and that should make that kind of clock. And that's what I use. Th that's the clock I use to make it work. And then um over here, so here's the commands I did. This was for the mithril amulet. So what I d did um so I did a command that says test for the inventory um slot eighteen B. Slot eighteen B is. Um, is this slot right here, and then um, it and then it tests for if there's a and then ID Minecraft Nessa star, so it tests for if there's a Nessa star in this slot, and if it does, it puts signal out through here to this, and it, and it does the command says effect AP absorption forever nine true, which actually gives you um twenty gold hearts 20 extra gold hearts and then a, a command block next to it which on and then a, oops and then um a whetstone torch on the first command block facing another command block which is effect at p absorption zero which stop this makes the absorption time zero second so then that would pretty much take it off and then um this is fire I made um the fire the unflammable the unflammable cloak. It tested for if there is a fire it actually tested for if there's a fire charge in slot twenty seven B, which is this slot right here. And if it does I'll put a signal the this and the same contraption right here to such effect at P fire resistance. Forever 255, which is the power of it. True, and also on these, always put true so it doesn't show the particles, or else that would kind of look silly. And then do the same setup here, or else effect at P by resistance zero, which takes it away. 
And last but not least, for the um, um, invisibility cloak. So this tested for it is a firework charge in slot 9B, which is right here, the very first slot in your inventory. And we will up a signal to give the effect 14, which is actually invisibility. It gives you the effect invisibility forever, zero, the power is zero, so it's normal. And then true, make sure you always put true so it doesn't set up our gold. And then same set up here, and then do the command says effect at P14, which is visibility. By the way, so slash effect at P14, zero, which takes away. And then, so yeah, that's pretty much it.